I bet for a minute you thought I wasn't going to take it apart. <laughs> right, uh, I don't think any of those screwdrivers are do. I don't know what I've done with a normal screwdriver set. Must be in one of the other boxes. We need a thin crosshead. Oh, that might do. Oh, that might do, but they're tight. Right, I'll have to loosen them off screen. Right, that really did take more effort than I expected to undo those screws. So, we've got them off now. Electric motor, gears speaker, circuit board, black blob, uh, pointing stick, that looks to me like that's probably the um, H-bridge speed controller thing, yeah that comes down to the motor. So we've got a push on off switch or a start switch there. That one. We've got two buttons there which indicate when you've gone right the way over. Now that's interesting. You would have thought both of them moved their arms, but they don't. It's only this guy. He's the one who's got the gears driving his arm. So it's all done from this end. That end does nothing. We could probably unscrew him. How many screws are there? Yeah, and there's no point in taking this gearbox apart. We can see what it does. You've got the motor shaft, small gear in there, driving a bigger gear, small gear, big gear, small gear, big gear, small gear in there, big gear. So we've got lots of torque to move the arm side to side. there looks like that goes on there just to make sure it's rigidly held in place and then that's one button that's the other button I suppose we could look on the other side of the circuit board but I don't honestly expect there to be much other than um, gosh that one's ever so tight as well I don't expect there to be anything other than a capacitor on the other side because I can see that under the edge there. Nothing other than a couple of capacitors, although we can see we can see a wire going up into his arm, and there's a lever just there or a contact. see that use me pointer again yeah there's some sort of contact there that those two wires go to uh, I expect we are gonna have to take him apart 
I just think that registers how far over his arm goes in some way or other. All right, so let's have a look then. Well, before we do that, what do we do with those two screws? Do they all look the same size? Yeah, they do all look the same size. see here Smaller screwdriver again. I can't believe how tight these screws are. Right, I'm going to have to do that off screen as well. Right. With, him, with his back off, we can see that we've got a little... Huh, got a little bit of luck there. Right, got a little cam there that as his arm goes over, that cam is making contact with that lever there. Because the wire comes up, it looks like it might go through a resistor or something there. But then it makes contact, a little spring down there, so there's a contact on the end of that plastic cam that makes contact with that and that just seemed to be loose no, it isn't. but yes yeah, his arm goes over if he, if he goes right over ah I see if he goes right over he loses contact and the other one going to make contact I should think yeah because when he's that far over he's got no contact I'm probably damaging it by pushing it over um, switch it back on again a second I'll try and get one off switch on Press that button. You seem to register as a winner. Before that, try that again. Well, it's definitely pressing the button that makes it register as a win.
Hmm, so what does that contact do? I mean, I'm guessing it stops it stopping you bringing him back up again once he's gone all the way down. Don't know. what it is. It looks like it sh finds the centre position. Because with without that making contact we had that shudder so it was it wasn't finding the midpoint. That's what I think. Um Yeah, because if I lifted that off so it wasn't making contact, yeah, do that again. It'd be all right if it wasn't quite so noisy. Right, lifting it up, start it. Yeah. Conclusive, but I think that's what it is. I think it's finding the center position because that wasn't lined up properly, so it wasn't sitting down.
Iya, Pak. That was what it was. That needs to make contact for him to center. Right. Okay. So the other side is going to have something similar, I would think. Or is it? Or is this one just gear driven? I think this side's just gear driven. We're going to have to take that side off as well, aren't we? All right, we'll put this one together, back together. I'll do that off screen. Put him back together. And we'll have a look at the other side. Right. He's back in place. We'll undo this guy and have a look what's inside him. Again, I'll probably do this off screen. I don't know. I can undo those screws all right. It'll be the ones on his back that will be the problem, I expect. I think these are just taking the gearbox off, actually. Okay, that's our gearbox. Which we've already looked at and decided it's fairly straightforward. Small gear, big gear, small gear, big gear, small gear, big gear. Small gear, big gear. That gear drives that gear, which is on his arm. So there's no um, contact over this side to register the arm position. It's all done from that side, those grey wires, or white, grey, white. Okay, I think we can see just that gear driving the arm. Again, that's too tight. Right, I'll do that off screen. Right. I had to take his cap off to get to the other screw. Yeah. So that's all we've got in there. That gear is driving the arm. So the contact under the red guy's elbow is the one that registers whether it's in the middle or not when it's doing the reset for the start. And this side is where we're actually driving the arm side to side with the gearbox under there. Right, I'll put him back together now. I'll do that off screen to save a bit of time. I 
just noticed when I took the motor and gearbox assembly off, one of the screws I undid, undid that. And that is the very simple contact, that one, that green one. So that's the, um, what can we call it, mission complete. <laughs> That sits in there, and then this was on top of it, holding it in place. I suppose that's just a convenient way of saving a screw right okay I'll screw all these back in which you don't need to watch right all screwed back together uh, the only things we haven't looked at I haven't taken the covers off here to check what sort of push button we've got under there. And same at that end. Uh, that one I don't need to take off because we looked at the one that was there. And I haven't taken that, that one off to see what sort of push button we've got under there. I mean, they're just going to be momentary contacts of some sort. I suppose we could look at this one. It looks like the easiest one to get to. I didn't do a close-up of the circuit board either, did I? So, that's... There we are, that's what we've actually got. Double push buttons, uh, sort of herringbone um, contact there, and then these will have carbon covered um, little feet there that push down and make contact. And I expect they've, by using two of them, you've got uh, redundancy. If one doesn't work, the other one will. So that's simple enough. Oh, that just dropped off its position. I don't want it to do that. Push one side on, push the other side on. Okay, we're back together. I have to say, it does seem quite well made. Well, in fact, I think that's being derogatory. I would say it looks very well made. Quite old technology. In that they're just simple copper or brass contacts being used to do the job. On the other hand, that could be simple as best. Simple brass contact works. Why try and do it with anything else? One more press, check that works still. Oh, we are on. 
In that case, press that button. Five, two, one, go! I've got to say, it's been one of the noisiest toys I've played with for a long time. I'll do a close-up of the circuit board. Not that it's going to tell you anything, but I'll do a close-up of that. Then I'll seal it back up, and that's it done. Well, it's got a date on it. 17th of the 7th, 2014. BSW Bonding, whatever that is. I expect all those tags are labelled and they mean something. You could probably try and work that out, what they mean. And that's it. I'll put it back together. One last test. Hold it still. Press the button. Oh. Helps if we turn it on, doesn't it? There's no manufacturer's name on there at all, so no idea who it's produced by. Right, press button. That'll do. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel, and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.